my brothers and sisters, good evening. How are you all doing today? Fine. Very good. I'm good, thank you. It's hot, isn't it? <laughs> it is. In the first reading, we heard an amazing story of a family, a little family, who received Elisha at their house. What a sweet family. The wife asked the husband, Honey, Elisa is a good man. Let us arrange a little room on the, on the roof and furnish it from, for him with a bed, with a table, a chair, and lamp. So that when Elisha comes to us, you know, he can stay here. That's what she asked for her husband. When I was reflecting on this, I kind of asked, who was actually doing it? You know, the husband or the wife? Who was actually, who did the bed, the table, the chair, the lamb? You know, who was actually doing it? Who? The, both? The husband or the wife? They work together, okay. <laughs> they work together. And what do you think if the husband didn't want to do it? Well, you, you know, you want another man who sleeps at our house? You know. I don't want to do it. Well, what if he said no? What do you think? She should probably say, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know, fine. It doesn't matter how educated you are. If your wife says fine, man, your degrees were wasted. <laughs> fine is my, my mom's keyword for not talking to my dad. <laughs> and it's really funny for me because, you know, when my mom thinks that she is punishing my dad by not talking to him for days, I thought it's actually a joy for my dad <laughs> because my mom was finally quiet. <laughs> uh, well, that's not, fun. that's not kind, but... Anyhow, it doesn't matter who did it, actually. The most important thing is that this family does not limit themselves to offering Elisha a meal, but also built him a small room and furnished it accordingly. And in response to this generosity, Elisha blessed his wife by prophesying the birth of a son. This story seeks to teach us that collaborating with God in carrying the plan of salvation is a source of blessings. God does not fail to reward all those who collaborate with Him. My brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we are reminded about the value of the acts of kindness. Jesus tells his disciples that whoever welcomes the disciple welcomes him, and ultimately God himself, Jesus said. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to the one of to one of these little ones to drink because the little ones is a disciple, amen, I say to you. He will surely not lose his reward. The little ones here are not just children, but all those who are in need, 
the poor, the oppressed, the lonely, the forgotten, the needy. He calls us, my brothers and sisters, to recognize their dignity and worth and respond with generosity and empathy. empathy. And the cup of the cold water mentioned in this passage symbolizes the act of kindness. No matter how small it may seem, kindness is more than just being nice. It is recognizing God in our midst. And Jesus assures us that God sees it and God knows it. You know, every kind of, every act of kindness we extend to others. God knows and God sees that. And He promises to reward us, not necessarily in material or earthly terms, but His abundant grace and blessings. My brothers and sisters, let us be kind. Let us be kind. If you see someone falling behind, walk beside them. If someone is being ignored, find a way to include them. If someone has been knocked down, lift them up. Be who you needed when you were going through hard times. But please, also be mindful. Sometimes we do good to others, and other people are not necessarily able to repay our kindness. So don't expect much if other people cannot repay your kindness. That's okay. Lord knows what you did, and at least you have become a good person, even better than other people. My brothers and sisters, you want to change the world? and you don't know how to begin, do one random act of kindness, one at a time. Having a kind heart goes beyond pretty face. If you have a wacky heart, there's no Photoshop for that. And if we have a bad personality, there's no filter is going to fix that. Kindness is not weakness, it is the strength. So let us treat other people the way we want it to be treated. And never stop being a good person, no matter how badly someone, someone else treats you. More often, my brothers and sisters, when people hear good things about you, they stay silent. When they hear bad things about you, they spread it like wildfire. When they hear nothing about you, they make things up. However, it is important to remember that you cannot control what others say about you. Their words and their actions reflect who they are, not who you are. You can still sleep with peace of mind, knowing that you never hurt anyone, my brothers and sisters. So, stay calm, cool, and be kind. Amen? Amen.